What is going on, guys? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video, and let's talk a little bit about the announcement that was made. You know, a couple days ago, I'm a bit late on this one, but the London Royal Ravens have announced their new roster for 2021, and it isn't featuring two of the staples of this team, Weskin and Scraps. They have a brand new team, and I'm excited to dive deeper into it and give you guys sort of my first impressions and opinion on this roster and how they stack up against some of the other teams in the league. All right, guys, the 2021 Royal Ravens are Alex, Dylan, Shawnee, and Zero. And there are some players that obviously played for the Royal Ravens last year, but their two superstar players are not on the team. So what does this mean for this roster? In the offseason, obviously, throughout this time, a lot of people did not know where Weskin and Scraps are going to land. Some people thought that the London Royal Ravens would retain at least one of those players. Those are two of the first signings that the Royal Ravens made when they got a CDL spot. And they were their two best individual performers throughout the entire season so it seems a bit weird that they don't have them on the team but obviously there were some issues there amongst themselves and they decided to part ways and London Royal Ravens thought that this would be a better direction for the squad so let's rate this roster as we've done with the other teams okay so Shawnee at the end of the last season at champs in particular had a pretty good event uh, prior to that he wasn't that great but he never really costed the team matches he always really did his job but on this team he's going to have to step up into a bigger role I mean alongside Dylan Alex and Zero I'm going to expect Shawnee to have to be that main AR he's not going to be able to be that flex and I think being a man AR, he can slow his gameplay down a little bit. And I think he's a cerebral enough player that he can play that role at a high level. Um, but the thing is, as a man AR, you have to be going positive. You have to be setting up and, and getting those kills and helping out your SMG players. And Shawnee has never really been, throughout the history of his career, able to consistently put up those numbers and consistently be a slayer. Now, teams have performed at a high level with AR players that aren't, you know, in the top echelon, but it makes it a lot more difficult on the submachine gun players. The good thing about this Royal Ravens roster is they do have some players who play pretty fast, so maybe that can sort of alleviate the pressure that's going to be put on Shawnee. Um, but, you know, we'll talk a little bit about their stats here in a second as well. But before we do that, let's talk about Zero. So here's the thing why it's good to have Zero on this team. Zero and Shawnee are sort of both flex players, but if Shawnee is struggling a little bit too much in that main AR role, they could obviously move Zero over to it. Is it an optimal decision to make? Probably not, uh, but it's the cards that they're dealt with going into the season. Uh, in a team of four, in a 4v4 format, uh, the AR role becomes way more impactful. So this is going to be a decision that they have to make. Um, and I see them flip-flopping throughout the season, depending on uh, what it, the current meta is in Cold War. All right, now I see this duo of Alex and Dylan doing very well in the next game. Uh, both of them led in engagements on both of their teams. They were number one in engagements on both rosters. And for Alex, he was one of the best players on Minnesota throughout the year. They didn't have too much success. Um, but he was pretty good throughout the entirety of the team. And he also had a positive KD as an SMG player on a struggling roster, which is very difficult to do. Um, and then uh, also going on to Dylan, Dylan in Black Ops 4 was unbelievable, right? Like in the last chair game, he was one of the best players in the game. He was elusive. His movement was incredible and his shot was crazy. And he could absolutely just win his team games. Um, and thinking about this new game coming up, obviously we don't know too much about what the meta is going to be, et cetera, but just running around with some of the SMG, uh, some of the SMGs and using that slide that was in the game, even though they nerfed it, it was still pretty good. I think Dylan has a good chance of being a beast at this new game. So I think the duo of Dylan and Alex is a solid one. Do I think it is a top tier duo? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, but my initial reaction is that they aren't going to bode well against some of the top three teams like when you're talking about phase empire huntsman i don't think that this team is gonna have enough talent to stick it to those guys but we'll see as they develop uh where they will land but talking about the game modes as well when you look at this team's history right on the royal ravens the two best search and destroy players last year on this team were scraps and Wuskin by far these guys had like a 1.2 and a 1.15 and i know stats don't mean everything but if you just look back at some of their matches and the plays that were being made by wuskin in particular he bailed them out of so many situations and also alongside scraps who was clutching up time and time again they lost their two best search and destroy players now none of these players on the royal ravens roster are bad at search and destroy but losing your two best players is definitely a hit going into the new game, especially if the maps are going to be solid. That means Search and Destroy is going to be a cerebral game mode, which could be very tough 
for this team. Now, I think this team's strengths are their aggressive slang. I think that that is going to bode well for this roster. I think that if Shawnee can step up as that main AR, then you have Dylan and you have Alex as that SMG aggression duo who can absolutely slay out lobbies. And then Zero, who is the backbone that you can always rely on as that flex player to make the smart play. And he can also put up some big numbers as well. So I really think the pressure is going to be on Shawnee and Dylan on this squad for both of them to turn up and play at a high level. I think Dylan needs to return to Black Ops for form and Shawnee needs to be way more consistent. I think the struggle for this team will also be search and destroy. That is the game mode that will hurt them because losing those two players, they're gonna have to step up big time. I don't think that there's a player on this team that I've seen use a sniper and do very well with it. So if sniping is very good, like it was in the beta, that could be tough for this roster as well. So there's a few reservations I have for this team. I'm gonna put them around the six through eight mark right now in terms of rosters that I've seen. Um, but yeah, it's not looking too great in terms of championship, uh, in terms of championship uh, contention for this roster. But I do think that they can make some dark horse runs in tournaments. But either way, congrats to these guys. I'm excited to watch them. And uh, I like these guys in this team. You know, I've always been a big Shawnee supporter. I've been waiting for him to have his breakout tournament. And I think Champs was that one. I hope he can continue. And good luck to these guys in the future. And thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll be back for more videos in the coming days. And until next time, guys, peace.